what is Liskov substitution principle? For this principle, I will first explain the normal definition and at the end, I will share one very easy statement about LSP. Let's see the normal definition first and understand with the help of the code. The Liskov substitution principle LSC, LSP states that an object of a child class must be able to replace an object of the parent class without breaking the application. Remember child class, subclass and derived class are same things and parent class, superclass and base class are same things. Okay, now let's see the example code. First we will see how to follow the Liskov substitution principle and then we will see how we can violate the LSP. Okay, suppose you have a parent class employee which have two virtual methods calculate salary and calculate bonus like this. For simplicity, I am not calculating here anything but just returning 1 lakh as salary and 10,000 as bonus. Okay. Now we have one class permanent employee which is derived from the employee class. This class overrides the calculate salary method of the base class and set a new salary. And this class will automatically get the calculate bonus method from the base class, right? Because we are not we are not overriding it here. And as the rule of the inheritance. Uh, base class methods will be automatically available for the derived classes simple right now we have one more class contractual employee class which is again derived from derived from the employee base class here we will again override the calculate salary method of the base class like this but 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 this contractual employee class does not supposed to have this calculate base bonus method of the base class because bonus is not applicable for contractual employees okay therefore here we have to override the calculates bonus bonus method and throw the error like this why we are throwing the error here because if we do, do not overwrite the calculates, calculate bonus method and write no code here, then by default the can contractual employee will automatically get the calculate bonus method of the employee class, parent class, like the permanent employee class inherited it, right? And if anyone in future will create the object of the contract contractual employee class, then that object will be able to call the call calculate bonus class then right which we do not want because as per the rule of the contractual employee class that that should not be able to call bonuses right so to stop that we have to overwrite this method here and we have to throw the error now if someone will create the object of this contractual employee class and call this call calculate bonus method then they will get this error right now let's first follow the LSP and then we will violate the LSP. First inside the main method we will create the object of the base employee class like this and we will also create the object of the derived classes also here. Now first we will call the methods from the base class objects like this. See no problem and 1 lakh and 10,000 will be the output as salary and bonus okay because that we go got from the base class methods right now listen carefully and read the definition again the lsp states that an object of a child class must be able to replace the object of the parent class okay so as per the definition we will replace the parent class object employee with the permanent employee child class object p employee like this to call the exact same methods and see your application will not break these methods will completely work fine right and the output output will be like 2 lakhs and 10,000 this time that means here we are following the LSP for the permanent employee class case right because here object of a child class is able to replace the object of the parent class without breaking the application now we will see how to violate LSP when we will violate LSP now we will replace the parent class object employee with the contractual employee child class object C employee to call the again the same exact methods like this. Okay, here the first uh, call of calculate salary will work fine, right? But but the second call of calculate bonus will break the application and this exception will come. So here object of the child class is not able to replace the object of the parent class 
because the application breaks and therefore uh, this for this particular example where employee is the base class and contractual employee is the child class we are not following lsp now might be you will say the error is ex expected right because uh, yes we are throwing the error inside the calculate bonus method of the contractual employee class here yes 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 this is expected we were but we were forced to throw the error here that is because uh, that is we have to do because otherwise uh, i already explained you like how uh, contractual employee class will automatically inherit this bonus method right but but we should never design our classes and methods in this way in such a way where we have where we have to throw the error like this okay this thing we should avoid so when designing base classes and derived classes then we should make sure that whatever methods we are keeping in the base classes okay those methods must be applicable for the derived classes also derived class can override the base methods and that is completely fine but by default if th those methods are not overrided then all the methods of the base class must be applicable for the derived class that should be the ideal design approach as per the lsp like in our example all employee class methods are applicable for um, permanent employee classes right all methods and therefore that they are following lsp but for contractual employee class case our design is not good as we are we are for throwing errors here and uh, because uh, calculate method uh, we all know the reason and that's why we are violating the lsp here all right now we can correct the design like uh, we should uh, to correct this design and to follow uh, lsp for contractual employee also we should remove this calculate bonus from the employee base class and put it somewhere else like some other class some abstract class interface some other design we can do but we should not do like this finally as i said in the beginning the short statement for lsp or the uh, in other words what we can uh, uh, how we can define the lsp is all the base class methods must be applicable for the derived classes also all the methods okay i think this is the simpler definition great now i think you have a good understanding of the lsp and even in your projects you now know how to implement lsp right